Welcome back to another episode of Last Night on Earth Survival. Today we're returning, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And today, oh baby, today we got some really good stuff in store for y'all, including the main highlight of it. Not just this marvelous brand spanking new Winchester we've been rocking. The dude, I'm sorry, it just looks like it's such a pretty looking gun. We gotta go and get a little bit of uh, a little bit of burn out of it today. But that's not gonna be the main thing of today. The main thing of today, in addition to our shenanigans and our raid, is gonna be brand new armors that are going to have multiple stages of being upgraded star what in tarnation are you talking about boom i'm talking about this little thing right over here that you guys are seeing this was posted earlier today with the caption you already know that in season two we are adding kevlar armor this is of course last day on earth developers posting this meanwhile there are some more body armor kits under development the concepts of which we'd like to share with you Sorry about the burp there. Dude, I cannot stop burping at this point. This is ridiculous. We'd like to share with you today. Boom! Here is the first set of those images that you guys and gals are seeing. There are two sets of images and from left to right, you are seeing some incredibly dope looking armor and there is a very noticeable progression that the more to the right you go, the way more intense this armor gets. Because let me just say, that armor on the right looks freaking insane, dude. That looks like the type of armor, like, that looks like something that like a juggernaut from like an old Call of Duty game would wear or something. Like, that looks like a freaking bomb squad suit. That is insane. And the thing, you might be like, Star, what do you mean by upgrading? Well, I want you to pay very close attention to the uh, little, little thing above their heads over to the right up one up two up three well given the progression that we are seeing as you go more to the right these armors get more advanced and well they also go up in their up number it appears that these armors are going to be some sorts of upgrades they were going to be able to apply now this isn't something new to last day on earth we've actually had upgradable stuff happen before for example if y'all follow me over here to our crafting menu you can see that we have a shirt oh what is this we can actually reinforce that shirt with some armor so this is something that was introduced last day on earth quite a a while ago but it was never really fully developed like it was a pretty basic idea that unfortunately so far we have only really had one instance of which is the ability to reinforce your shirts and then you also have the thick boy jackets over here that you can reinforce into pretty much what has become known as the universal raider armor like raiders are always rocking this stuff and by far and away it is probably the coolest looking armor out there but boom back to this stuff over here let me just say this by far and away takes the cake for that and that is another thing that comes up is because from left to right we can see that it says up one up two up three which means that these are all upgrades for potentially an existing armor set that we have already and instead of just reinforcing some armor we're actually going to be able to upgrade it multiple times into like let me just say that armor on the right is looking freaking insane but uh yeah it is appearing like there is going to indeed be upgrade ability as you do upgrade it it will become more powerful and extremely advanced i don't know what it's going to take to get this stuff or to be able able to perform these upgrades or maybe if there's going to be an entirely new type of system incorporated into this where instead of just crafting an upgrade maybe there's going to be like a uh like uh whatchamacallit like an armor bench that you can apply this stuff to that would be pretty cool especially if there are going to be multiple tiers of upgrades you need to go through and boom let's go through this second set of armor as well where from left to right you can see that progression very very noticeably again up one up two up three that armor on the right is looking insane with what appears to be a pretty armored vest, shoulder pads, elbow pads, shin guards. This man's ready to play a little bit of soccer and pockets all over and no scarf like the two dudes on the left, but instead what appears to be some sort of like a metallic collar also for protective purposes. So let me know what you guys think of these two sets. Which one out of both of these, like which of all six different armor designs is your favorite? What do you like about each of them? What do you not like about each of them? And uh, in particular, which set do you like more? Do you like the first sequence? sequence of upgrades that we see or do you like the second sequence of upgrades more so because I'm not gonna lie I kind of like these armors a little bit more but the, the I don't know the final skin of that first set is looking insane it literally looks like a freaking bomb squad suit like that is gonna be dope and I cannot wait to get my hands on that and see what how this does tie into the game because this is obviously not gonna be in season two this is gonna be a little bit further down the line maybe it's something that we'll be seeing in season three since we know that season three is shaping up to be a pretty big update and with the new update schedule it appears that updates are mainly going to be coming in the form of season so likely i'm like that might very well be the next 
somewhat realistic shot of us getting this stuff incorporated and actually having the ability to upgrade our armors and maybe have an armor upgrade bench, for example, like I was saying, but there's definitely some pretty cool concepts over here, and I really hope that this is something that Kafir does flesh out because the idea of being able to upgrade armors is definitely a cool one to just be able to, like, I don't know, reinforce it, gain defense, maybe, like, walk faster and just kind of, like, turn poopy armor, add some resources into it, or maybe, like, learn certain recipes for different, like, maybe, like, I don't know, like, maybe you could be able to upgrade, like, the shirt to, like, uh, like, kind of, like, with a blueprint up to level two, you know, and kind of have it be similar to, like, gun mods, you could actually have, like, armor mods in, in, like, an armor mod bench, that's kind of, like, the idea that I am saying, but go and let me know what you guys think about all that stuff in that comment section and down below. What do you guys think of this general idea of potentially being able to, like, upgrade armor in a similar fashion to... Sorry about burp number two over there. Holy guacamole. Uh, being able to upgrade it in a similar fashion to what I am detailing with the way that the weapon mod system works. And uh, like I'm saying, what do you guys like most about all of those armors that we were seeing? And which one is your favorite, whether it be from the two kind of like progressions that we saw or just in general out of all six different armor designs? Which one did you think is your personal favorite? Because let me just say, first set of images, that last one, upgrade level three, that one looked insane. I need my hands on that because that is going to be awesome. And all also, let's go ahead and give you all the bunker code for today. In case you guys are not aware, it is going to be 974462. If that's out of date, by the time you are trying to put it in, make sure to check that comment section down below. Phone up today version brought to you by the Fan Freak Fantastic community here at the Snipe Gang. And if you're not seeing it down below, you could be the Fan Freak Fantastic lad or lassie to go ahead and toss it down there and be of help to anyone who might be in need of that magical sequence of numbers to get them down into the depths where I will be utilizing my brand new marvelous Winchester today. Yeet! Get some big old hits on some of these fast biters. And dude, seriously, if we could get this Winchester to be slightly more powerful, like this is, it's a very good Winchester, but we are still missing the active skill mod receiver that I want to get on this and also the better stock that increases our damage as well. Because you guys just saw over there what happens. That zombie was left over with four health. If we did literally a little bit more damage each shot, not even critical included, ooh, piece of candy, we would be in pretty good shape. But unfortunately, this gun is just the short we were so close to greatness but unfortunately no greatness for us today so, uh, i don't know why i'm talking to you specialist i can modify your weapon that's my job you okay can you give me those mods that i'm missing eh? Eh? no you just want me to take your stuff although i do see that you have this workbench over here where i can give you blueprints and you're probably just going to spit out blueprints that i already have and just be an endless cycle of me probably just losing all the blueprints that i have i see a lot of you guys ask like star why do you not get rid of the blueprints that you are stockpiling it's because like literally i am only missing a couple of blueprints they're mainly extremely rare ones these things that they spit out I don't think I've ever seen it give out an extremely rare skill mod, so I'm kind of waiting and crossing my fingers in the hopes that this kind of like, this is another thing I would really love to see change. Let me know what you guys would think about this as well in that comment section down below. I want to see the blueprint system and the way that it works changed up because the current way of getting a random blueprint after exchanging a ton of blueprints in, it just kind of sucks because like once you do get a lot of blueprints, there's just that chance where you already like, like it's not it's not a good idea to do it because odds are you're literally just going to be wasting your blueprints so that's why i'm kind of holding out on mine and hoping that maybe a better system of some sort where you can like kind of trade them in and this is the idea that i would personally love to see like i'm saying let me know what y'all think about this but uh instead of like trading them in and getting like a random blueprint maybe you would actually get points for each blueprint that you trade in and then there'd maybe be like a blueprint trader for example or maybe even this guy would like give us blueprints kind of similar to this but instead of being a random one it would like actually cycle through and every day, you know, there would be a different common blueprint, a different rare blueprint, and a different extremely rare blueprint that you would be able to buy with a certain amount of points. Because this random element, you almost never get extremely rare mods out of it. And the fact of the matter is, odds are, especially once you have a good chunk of mods like I do, you're just going to get mods you already have again. So you got to put them back into here, get more mods that you already have, put them back into here. And it's just not viable near the end of the life cycle. But if the, what should we call it? Not mechanic. Okay. Your name's just going to be the mechanic for now because I totally forgot what you had. Specialist. He's the specialist. He's the mechanic specialist. That's what you are. Uh, yeah. If you would potentially have like a blueprint that you would actually know you would need, you could be like, oh, okay. I will now use all the points I have been stockpiling. And, uh, well, I'll actually be able to get one of those blueprints that I was looking for and dude this Winchester is just it's so satisfying to shoot but the little bit of health it leaves them over with that is like the opposite of satisfaction also the green yellow and red ticket crates that we're gonna be getting throughout today that is also gonna be rather satisfactory let's start by popping open the green ticket crate and oh, dude let's freaking go 
I don't think I've ever seen this happen. Oh, I bit my cheek a little bit. I got too hype. Dude, I don't think I've ever gotten a Kalashnikov 47 from green ticket. I genuinely did not think this was possible. Like, I've gotten an M16 sometimes, but I'm really lucky. I think this is my first time I've ever gotten an AK. Like, dude, this is insane. Is our yellow ticket crate luck going to be? Oh, pretty decent. Pretty decent. I'm going to save my SWAT armor for later today for those raids and whatnot that we're going to be going out on. Jane is definitely going to like the fact that we have a chopper fork because I've actually sold. I've given Jane all of my chopper forks. She has robbed me dry, ladies and gentlemen. I just want that Leviathan skin and Jane, uh, she's not going to give it up until I think she owns everything chopper related that I've ever had. Dude, she's probably going to be like, next time I go to her, she's going to be like, yeah, I don't want parts anymore. Give me your chopper. And I'm going to be like, no. And she's going to be like, you want the chopper skin? But, but I don't need a chopper skin if I give you my chopper. Star, I know you want the chopper skin. And then she will probably win because she is right. I do want the chopper skin. And I will play myself, give her my chopper. Now that I have a chopper to apply the skin to. But I will be happy led. I have skin. And then five seconds later, I will be sad because I'll be like, oh, no. I don't have any way of using this skin. Alrighty then, I'm gonna be saving that uh, mini Uzi jacuzzi. Oh dude, I love this stats, dude. The mini Uzi is probably like, personally, out of the guns that you can mod, I would say that the mini Uzi might be like, the best in terms of like, the mods that you could put onto it, because they are just some stellar mods you're able to toss on, and yeet, let me just juke my way out of there. There are seriously some stellar mods you can toss on that puppy, and uh, especially once you increase that speed, uh, which we call recoil control and actual damage that you could output, it becomes a killing machine. Just like my pistol drizzle over here. Like, that's what I want to turn the Winchester. Ooh, piece of candy. That's what I want to turn the Winchester into, man. I want to turn it into something glorious like that. I know the Winchester will never be as good as other guns, but, you know, I. I. I I got hope. I'm crossing my fingers that maybe the active skill mod will be able to give it that chance to shine and be kind of useful. Kind of like the rest of the guns we usually use because Winchester, you're nice. I gotta say, you look pretty cool. That's about where the usefulness ends, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh, it's gonna be really nice to toss these new uh, Winchesters on some weapon racks as well. And hello, Exploder. Would you like to get some Winchester over there? Oh, yes, he wants plenty of this. And let's just go ahead and boop. Hit the Toxic Spitter with the slow mo. Oh, no, game, don't be lagging on me right now. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. And of course, I shoot the Frenzy Giant as I'm walking by. Okay, I'm just gonna finish off this Toxic Spitter really quickly, and then I will deal with the dude who goes a boom. But yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking of those reinforced, uh, whatchamacallit, armors and jazz as well in that comment section down below because that is definitely a feature that I really hope does get fleshed out. And also another thing that I was about to say before I got derailed on my one of many different constant train of thought derailments. Holy guacamole, now's not the time to go to your inventory. What were you doing, good man? And there you go, take him off before he has the opportunity to go boom. But uh, yeah, back to what I was saying. The thing with these new potential upgraded armors is that we might actually see them getting used in some of the enemies that we see as well. And I don't know, that's definitely like a bit more of a small thing I should say, but the potential for us to be able to like, ooh, ooh. A little bit of, dude, I'm getting so many red Skittles. Uh, gun oil, you are not going to be known as red Skittles because every time I see you, I'm like, ooh, piece candy. So we're getting so many red Skittles out of this or M&Ms. Let me know which guy, okay. Big, big brain time. Let me know in that comment section down below. Is the gun oil, should we call them Skittles or should we call them red M&Ms? Red Skittles or red M&Ms? It's got to be one of the two because I don't know. It's red, kind of reminds me of Skittle. That might just be the fact that I'm hungry and everything that I see is food oriented. Like these things over here, Psych, that literally just looks like vomit. And that's all that they do as well. Actually, they're pretty nice. They're pretty nice in the, uh, what should we call? Down here in the depths. They actually don't vomit all over you. So, uh, shouts out to you guys for not doing that. Although, they do freaking run through fart streams over here, as you are seeing. And let's just go and hit him with some good old shotgun rain to get a big old blast on him. But back to what I was saying with those new armor designs that we were seeing. Like, the fact that if, ooh, piece of cake. Oh, dude. I don't think I've ever gotten this much gun oil in a single, like, floor, let alone in just the way to the blind one. Dude, stuff is coming up Millhouse right now. I'm just going to run through there. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have the power of holding my breath. This is unprecedented. 
and we're gonna pop our way into here and start dealing with the blind one which with the help of our oozy jacuzzi ought to be a pretty painless process if you ask me glug 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 let's eat up all that jazz that we can get ourselves back up to full health and uh hopefully we're ready because us and the blind one we got a good old date and he wants my skittles and you will not have my skittles kind sir those are mine always have been actually not always but now they have always been ever since this point in time they will always be mine until i use them on a weapon mod you know they're my skittles let's just leave it at that and you know what yeah if you want to run to the wall go on ahead my oozy jacuzzi will welcome you with open arms dude that recoil control not gonna lie could have been a little bit better i think the strategy i might try to use is maybe use the uzi absolutely spray and pray on the big one until i start to see a lot of misses start popping up we're doing pretty good right now honestly yo i'm a, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that i'm pretty happy with that okay although we are just eating through the durability of our uzi i don't mind if it means that we could take down the blind one because i always love taking you down mr blind one but uh back to what i was saying for like the third time before this train dude this train of thought it keeps on going back on the rails dude just look at all those numbers popping up that is just so insane yeah this train of thought it like keeps on going back on the rails and then it just keeps on derailing again i think we gotta find just like a new train tracks for my trains of thought because i think i just think the infrastructure the train tracks they are not not the safest by any stretch of the imagination honestly i was gonna focus on killing the blind one before i let this train get back onto its uh thought track i don't even know what to call it shotgun rain to you mr blind one and I'm guessing after one more, if we're lucky in terms of how much damage we could do in a couple of criticals, I'm guessing after one more run in with the wall, oh, Mr. Blind One, I welcome you to your doom shotgun rain, and goodbye to, ooh, piece of candy, well, that's the pieces of candy that I expected to get, but still, they're nice, we got ourselves turty red tickets, and that means we got ourselves one red ticket crate awaiting. And some lag for my computer. Thank you, computer. You're, you're so kind. I caramba, bro. But uh, back to what I was saying for like the fifth time with those new armors, it's going to be cool to see them actually used by the enemies that we fight as well because I feel like it'll just give, you know, some of the different like factions like the Raiders potentially. Like if you see someone with that like level three, like freaking bomb squad armor, for example, like, it's probably going to be like, oh, this is like a major type of person in the faction. Like I think more armors just gives the potential for more characters to feel more unique and have some of these factions really feel alive and like they're like very specific like characters and types of enemies in each one that you have to watch out for kind of denoted by their armor and also the fact that you know survivors could be wearing them to like mix and match and that type of jazz like i think there's just a lot of cool potential that these additional armors will give obviously the ability for us to upgrade them the ability for us to wear them but also the ability for them to just be in the game anyways as like new sets of armor that i mean a variety of enemies will be able to use and that could just do an awesome job in terms of like telling the story of like a faction like the raiders or the bikers or isn't there like a th oh the military yeah those dudes the military like dude like i feel like there's definitely a lot of roles that they could play there we go my mind just could not find where the dog tags were for some reason so i don't know i think they'd be really cool for that part as well and definitely like i i don't know man i just think that they'd be really awesome for a wide variety of reasons and let's freaking go one c4 thank you very kindly oh one fresh set of SWAT armor, plenty of marvelous guns. Oh, dude, this is the gift that keeps on giving, baby. Yeah, let me just go and toss on my old set of SWAT armor on. And I will come back for the rest of this jazz. Just right now, we got to prioritize some certain entities like the amazing things that this has just given us. And yeah, they are rather amazing to say the least dude we've had some pretty good luck today i will say that because we got like what a shotgun an ak some c4 out of this like all in all yeah this was definitely a good trip oh and i definitely want to make sure to grab this air filter i will leave behind actually i'll leave behind the three green tickets for now like i'm saying i will come back for this stuff but i just want to prioritize first and foremost the best of the best and also some of these paints i don't really like want to leave the paints behind either because as y'all know i am stockpiling for the leviathan skin and potentially 
I'm guessing that season two might be bringing new skins with it as well. So I want to make sure that we have plenty of paints to show off those skins as we do unlock them. Because whatever season two does come out, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, y'all better make sure to stay on tune because we're going to be dropping all sorts of videos for it. Probably the day that it drops is going to be a double last day on earth upload type of day. And there's going to be plenty of videos coming after that as well, covering all that it has to offer, showing off the season pass, which apparently from what, oh baby, we got four minutes until we lose lose all one of our skulls so we don't really have a lot but still we got to get underway with this raid absolutely asap there's also a zombie attack nifty little trick if you ever don't want to deal with a zombie attack that might be attacking your base as you enter your base what you need to do is literally exit your base as fast as possible that's what we're going to be trying to do over here unfortunately we're going to start on our psych we're going to start right there Yeet! let's just barrel roll on out now the zombies may have broken some of our walls but uh, as soon as you leave it stops the horde and that is something that y'all should be seeing right about here yep the horde is back on its way but it has also been taken care of and now i gotta go ahead and take care of my inventory and we gotta go and commence with today's raid so i'll talk to y'all it's like all right boys and girls we're in a little bit of a race against time there are literally 40 seconds until we need to begin and commence this raid in order for us to be able to uh whatchamacall get uh credit for still keeping this skull so oh my god we gotta make sure to drive over there with our chopper and do this absolutely asap literally like dude if we do like we need to enter the base before that timer's up otherwise we have just lost the skull we were definitely cutting this a little bit too close by our teeth i really don't care about the dealer right now we need to drive baby drive drive baby drive and also try to craft up as many hatchets as we can oh no hopefully we didn't create noise by crafting a hatchet wall at the oh okay whatever we gotta enter before that timer's up ah uh, i hope that we didn't just make noise by crafting that hatchet because if you do craft a hatchet while you are in the overworld okay bless up we're actually good and we should have just renewed our little timer now unfortunately uh i uh, oh yeah it's gonna be a big boy of a raid i can't craft hatchets while you are here never ever 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 this is just word of advice to y'all don't craft hatchets while you are at a raid because that will just create a ton of noise so here's what we got to do we need to run away from this raid and then we need to come back we need to craft some stuff honestly why don't we go over to the airdrop really quickly because as long as you don't make noise at a raid you can actually visit it and leave it really quickly and now that we are over here you guys can see this timer did get extended barely dude oh my god talk about a buzzer beater i feel like freaking michael jordan right now dude call me jump man and uh i guess we'll just loot up this airdrop really quickly hopefully try not to cause too big of a ruckus because i'd like to keep up all of my uh weaponry before uh actual stuff but yeah i don't know i mean i'll just see if there's like anything kind of worth grabbing from here might as well no point in not doing it although we could just come back uh whatchamacall Boop. i'll take you out over there we could always come back after eh. I don't know. Might as well check, you know. A when in Rome type of thing. Oh my god, I love this thing so much. No dog or anything has appeared. So that's good to know. But uh, yeah, like I'm saying, let me know what you guys do think about these new armors and whatnot in that comment section down below as well. And a reminder that that comment is going to put you one third of the way is the weekly tribe dollar at your touch place store gift card giveaway. All you got to do as well is make sure to like button and make subscribe. That'll let sure you win on today's video. Y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on Earth video when Saturday rolls around. We'll pick a random video for the past week. Pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week. And we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same Saturday as well. So make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video. Y'all can enter on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope travel games going up on the channel as well that helps you stay in the loop on and hey if you guys like last day on earth there is another awesome mobile survival game that it's honestly outside last day on earth it is my favorite i have ever played they stopped updating it about a year a year and a half ago they just recently came back alive it's called jurassic survival i already dropped the video on it but whenever a new update comes out i will definitely be dropping a video on that so Keep, stay tuned give it a chance because that game was going in an awesome direction until the developers abandoned it and now they're coming back which honestly makes me so happy i literally gave up hope on that game because it went so long without us hearing a word from the devs but now the fact that uh, many words were heard and hopefully we see the proof of those words with an update drop in that is going to be a really really fun one because that's pretty much like think of last day on earth now toss in some freaking dinosaurs dude yeah it's pretty nutty especially because there is the potential in future updates for us to literally tame and ride dinosaurs yes 
This is not a bamboozle. This is real boozle. Now, when it comes to how we want to raid the space, there's going to be a roughly set path we want to go through. Breaking through this wall over here should produce some good results. And if we follow that up by breaking into here, I think we do need to break into one of the thingy mabubs. Uh, what should I call? Yeah, we're using quite a bit of our hatchets here. Luckily, ah, we don't need to use any C4, but this is a pretty complex base raid, which is going to make it a pretty cool one. Now, it depends. Uh, my number one priority is going to be popping open these tree chests. Not tree chests. All of these chests over here because they should actually have some pretty good stuff inside of them. And I don't know. We might be able to, like, maybe let's freaking go get ourselves a gun or something nifty like that. And some more jazz. And hello, fast biters. Yeah, using the Winchester on you guys, probably not the best idea. I will save that for the bigger fellers. Hello, floater, bloater. Please let me pass. You shall not. Okay, I just unpassed myself over over there yeah what's up buddy Boop. hopefully i can get like a critical off with one of these winchester shots but this is definitely where the winchester does come in handy is when you can like easily outrun an enemy and just use some little turn and burn tactics computer don't lag right now please you're gonna run me outside of the map bro my computer is trying to sabotage me oh my god this hasn't been an issue for weeks and now it is issue oh my goodness gracious dude if we die because of this oh no Woo! I heard a noise. Oh, baby, we're back. Holy guacamole. That was terrifying. I was actually worried. If we ran out of bounds, whenever you exit and re-enter a base, it does create noise as well. So we are just treading on freaking nails over here or something because things could be going so disastrously. But we've managed to escape disaster a couple of times, which is... Uh, no complaints over here. I'm cool with escaping disaster. I'd prefer avoiding disaster, but hey, uh, if I got to come across them, I'm more than happy to escape it rather than uh, get engulfed by it. So pretty good outcome over there. And don't forget that that notification bell is also a great way. Yeah, maybe I'll grab, actually, I'll probably grab some of these nuts. I know that Jane's going to be a big fan of those. But yeah, that notification bell is also a great way to stay up to date with it. all new info that does come out anytime new info does come out about last day. I don't know if you're spreading it out to you all its eyes and ears absolutely ASAP. Breaking it down so you guys know exactly what it means, how it connects to the game, how connects to the future of last day on earth any and all that type of jazz and of course as soon as a new update comes out not just new information we are spreading that to y'all's eyes and ears absolutely asap as well by dropping all sorts of videos like when season two drops which is the last day on earth devs haven't said anything about it being pushed back to october so technically speaking Best case scenario, I'm guessing they drop it before the weekend. Worst case scenario, after this weekend. But hopefully, Kafir, I don't know, man. Hopefully, they drop it before the weekend if it is indeed ready. Because then we'd be able to literally, like, spend all of our weekends playing the game and checking it out and having a jolly good time like that. So, I think that that would definitely be a pretty decent outcome obviously i just want it as fast as possible but if anything dropping it before the weekend that is a prime time to do so because well everyone's gonna have quite a little bit of free time and if this is indeed do a better season than season one i'm gonna want to be able to binge all the time that i can and to doing exactly that so uh yeah have that notification bell because whenever it does drop oh baby we're gonna be in for a jolly good time like we are right now we're spreading some vitamin p that's right we gotta bless some of these chests they've given us some pretty decent stuff and in exchange for that uh vitamin p awaits y'all and apparently a shower awaits me so there's just surprises going on all around anything in this shit iron okay cool beans bro i love me some iron my my favorite resource oh okay semi-decent oh forgot about you dudes what's up what's up what's up how you doing today what how you doing baby what it do baby what up toxic abomination i'll let you at the slow-mo and finish you off with this pistol i don't know if i'm gonna have enough pistol durability to finish off all of these toxic abominations in that case though we might be able to use that saw blade mace that we psych oh dude one uppercut and we finished him that was perfect timing. He had six health left over. And guess what? Our punches, I'm pretty sure they do six on the dot. Just as the prophecy foretold, we were to punch the bejesus out of the last enemy of that wave. Uh, nah, I don't know. I'll probably just... I don't plan on killing any more zombies after we dealt with that. So let's just try to break these things open. Use that last little bit of... Ooh, piece of candy. That's not too shabby. That, that's a blue skittle right there. Or M&M. Jury's still out. Let me know in that comment section down below. And best luck in that giveaway as well. Lads and lassies. And of course, ooh, wrench is good. Jane likes wrenches. I will be collecting those for Jane 
in just one second. And then we'll go ahead and break into this chest. And now we got uh, nothing that valuable coming from there. That's okay. That's okay. I will be putting that away. I will be picking up the ranch. Probably a little bit of wiring too. Actually, sick. I think that I might be collecting. Um. Eh. Yeah, I'll put the band-aids in there. I'll grab the first aid kits. I will toss them puppies right in there. I'm not gonna grab the oak logs, because even after we convert that, that's less than one oak plank. So nah. Um, nom, 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 I'm eating all okay, psych, so maybe like seven of the berries. My appetite, a little bit more satisfied than I expected. Um We could do 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 I'll leave some jerky behind. I'm a nice fella. Ooh, actually. This person has a lot of paint. I will, uh, I kind of on one hand want to continue using, ah, uh, dude, I want, I want to grab the bolts and I want to maybe save those iron hatches for the future, but at the same time, paint, bro, I need me some paint and these red tickets too. Mm, do I have any room left over in my chopper that I just like completely forgot about? Again, goldfish memory. It's uh, it's a distinct sign of a Papa Star video. A very nice. So you definitely want to be put away. If the Raiders know I fight an electronic circuit, they're gonna be asking for like the mortgage on my house. Wait, no, you gotta pay off a mortgage. They're gonna be asking for a house or for me to take out a mortgage. They're gonna, they're gonna ask for a lot. That's the moral of the story. Because apparently they worship the electronic circuit gods. If they know you got one, they ask for a lot of stuff. Uh, I'll toss that over there and. I don't know. I'll toss some. Uh, I'll toss the wrenches in there. Make sure to keep those nice, safe, and toasty. And maybe, maybe will you? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm just a little. Ho, 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 ho. I'm a little bit concerned because uh, we just don't have. But where did I put those hatchets away? Oh, hatchets. Where did you go? Hatchet buddies. Okay, genuinely, where'd y'all go, bro? Hatchets. I know I had two of you people. Okay, hold up. Where did I- Is it one of these chests? I know that I had hatchets. Bruh. Am I- Am I crazy? Did I- I'm like- I'm like 99% sure I put hatchets into one of these chests. Did I bring the- Okay, there they are. Dude, how did I just not- How did that escape me? I so Is this like the one chest that I just kind of assumed I checked, but I didn't? That's probably exactly the case, but yeah, dude, season two. I'm so looking forward to that. I need it already, and some of those new skins that they were showing off today, too, do look pretty hype, but speaking of hype, let's break our way into here, and things are about to get funky because we have now made 100 noise, and it is now the time for Doom. The big one is going to start hunting us like no other. We're going to see if there's anything good within grass. Tons of grass. Is this? Oh, what's up, big one? Why'd you teleport to me? What's going on? What's going on? I have so many questions. I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Why? Oh my god, dude, there's literally a glitch here. The big one cannot reach us for some reason. Holy guacamole, this is glorious. Okay, I'm gonna yeet out of there. For some reason, the big one, okay, no complaints, no complaints. The big one just does not know how to get through there. Honestly, I'll take some wood, bro. I could go for some wood. I'm gonna break through this. The big one's gonna teleport to us. Let me just get one more hit off. There we go. Let's try not to die. And uh, here's what I'm going to do. Oh no, I'm about to get... Dude, oh no, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. It's just really weird because some of them like get stuck. Like the big one, why can they run into there? But not I have so many questions and I don't know if any of them are getting answered. Apparently this raid is big one proof. Oh my God, dude, the big one just like spawned out of bounds there for a sec. I, I am so bamboozled. I don't know, I'm running away for a sec. We got chill. We got to go back there. There is still one chest that we just broke. We haven't had a chance to check it out. I want to kind of like bring some of the toxic abominations away because I do not want to get cornered by those things. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. And I'll probably, honestly, I'll just get rid of that iron hatchet now. So we have one slot in case there's one super valuable thing we absolutely need to have. As soon as we see it, we should have the capability to do exactly that. But here's the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, the time to see what to waits. Dude, the big one was doing some really funky stuff though. Like, I don't understand how he's getting like, what about this base confuses him? It's not that confusing of a base. Okay, this is his rock chest. Where's your wood? I'm taking another stack. My walls are constantly being destroyed by raiders like you. Oh, he's starting to do a lot of damage. Yeah, that's gonna be a no from me, chief. Although I wanna see if he teleports to us. Like, where exactly will he teleport? Cause like, 
What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? Where are you gonna teleport? Okay, I accidentally ran out of bounds. I was gonna see if maybe I could like trick him to teleporting outside of the map. Hmm. Low key, I wanna try it. But at the same time, I'm pretty sure as soon as we spawn in, like he was really close to teleporting to us because usually he teleports after a couple seconds. He didn't teleport to us yet. Uh, he's probably gonna teleport as soon as we spawn into the game. And he's already doing a lot of damage. He might be able to get a couple hits off on us before we could even heal. So just a risky situation. I'm not trying to risk my buns for. I gotta keep them buns safe, baby. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna go and toss them in the bun cabinet. I don't know. The bakery? Where, wherever buns are safely held. I don't know. But with that said, with that, that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Hi, this was an awesome one. And I'll talk to you next one. See ya.